Hey everybody, welcome back to Prepper Junkie. Today we have the CZ Brand 2 MS Carbine chambered in 556. Uh, let's go ahead and open this up and uh, take a look. Oh, no gun. All right, so on the far side here, we just have, you know, the manual and things like that. Let's pop off. Okay, uh, so in here we have obviously the gun and we have, it comes with two magazines. These, when I checked, are D&H yeah, DNH Max. Um, and then on the far side, we actually have a cleaning kit, which is kind of nice. Actually, when I bought my uh, Evo, it also had a cleaning kit. So it's kind of nice, a nice little uh, thing to have. It's got some lubrication in there, some spanners and some tools to clean out. So you can see in there. Um, so it's a nice little, nice little kit. And then obviously, we have the Bren. All right, let's take a close look at this bad boy. All right, so let's start from, and where we go to, let's start from the back here. Um, so we have obviously an adjustable buttstock at the end here. It's got some really nice padding on the back. Um, to adjust this, you just pull down, it pulls out. The cool thing about this uh, stock, it also, because this is a piston, uh, rifle it doesn't require to have like a buffer system which is really nice so uh, you would just push in this here and then this folds over and locks under the um, brass deflector right there so you can you know it's a little easier to transport or whatever so this actually comes in at like 36 inches and then uh, when you fold it it comes down to about 28 inches um, so if you need as I say if you need to transport it or something like that it's a kind of a nice feature uh, you can fire the gun with it folded um, if you wish also okay moving along oh, uh, we have this end, this plate here, and it actually has two uh, attachments for slings on each side. And then again, moving forward here, this is a QD mount, so um, you have kind of the both options there, which is nice. Moving down, you have an ambi safety on both sides, which is again is a really nice feature. They've done so many things right on this uh, rifle. Um, coming down to the grip, um, it, it does, if, for me, I have I have medium sized hands, the grip feels phenomenal for me. So if you have larger hands, you can switch out uh, these uh, back straps here. Also at the bottom of the grip, we do have a, which is nice, um, if you see the Magpul ones, you know, you flip it off, but this is actually hinged so you won't lose it. So, you know, have a little storage compartment in there, which is uh, which is cool. Uh, moving along, uh, we do obviously have the trigger here. Uh, let's uh, go ahead and show you guys the pull, the take up, and the break. So hopefully you guys can see this okay. So here we go. So it's got a little bit of take up. It's a nice clean clean break, very nice. It's got a little, just a tiny bit of over travel. And then let's see how the reset does. It's quite a long reset, but as you heard there, it's very tactile, very audible uh, reset. It's a very light trigger pull. Uh, it's a nice trigger. Out the box, it's a really nice trigger. So let's uh, let's give it a feel and see what it's pulling out. I, I'm thinking between four and five pounds. Um, so let's let's see if that is the case. That broke at under, that broke at three and a half pounds. So it's lighter than I thought it was. Let me do that again, see if we get the same result. Yeah, that broke at three and a half again. So definitely, as I say, it's a really nice light trigger. Um, if you like light triggers, then you'll love that. Okay, uh, the trigger is polymer. Uh, there's options to switch this out to a metal trigger using HB Industries um, if you want to change the trigger. Out. And they have a few other things like uh, if you want to change the safeties, you can change them out also. Uh, moving forward, we have obviously a mag release. This is actually on both sides. This is a mag release also. So it's an ambi mag release, uh, which is cool. The lower is a combination um, of carbon fiber and polymer, so it makes it very strong and very, very lightweight. Um, so yeah, and that's why it doesn't quite look like the normal kind of black polymer. It almost has kind of a gray look to it. 
I like a very dark gray. So we do have this magwell in here that can be, uh, this can be taken out for uh, changing, if you want to change the caliber to 7.62, we won't really touch on that. But this is a modular system, so it, you know, you can do that in the future. Uh, moving forward, we have an M-lock rail. And moving forward again, we have, this is the gas system here. It has three settings. It has setting one is how it comes, and that is for uh, normal shooting. Setting two is for suppressed. And then setting three is actually off. You can still fire the firearm. It kind of puts it into most like a um, like a, a bolt rifle. Um, so to change it, there's just a little piece at the top here. You just press down and then you just change your settings. So uh, very accessible, very nice. This is the um, Cold Hammer Forge barrel. It is a heavy profile barrel. Um, now this isn't standard that comes with it. This is a dead air flash hider. Um, uh, spoiler alert, I've been to the range, um, I shot it when I was leaving, um, I asked them to switch out the uh, muzzle device for me because I'm shooting the suppressed at the weekend for you guys, um, but I forgot to get the um, the OEM uh, muzzle device, so apologies, that's what I have on there right now. Okay, let's flip over and look at the other side, and we'll start at the tip this time and just go back. So obviously we're not going to cover the uh, the reel and stuff again. So as I say, this is the charging handle. It's non-reciprocating, and what that means is when you fire, this isn't going to fly back. Also, okay, this will stay in place, um, and your bolt carrier grip will go back, but this will not. And that was one of the complaints with, uh, say, like the scar. Uh, I I personally love the scar, um, but. One of the things people really didn't like is it was a it was a reciprocating charging handle, so when you fire, this would fly back, and so it's a really nice it's really nice. It's easy to figure a way that this is non-reciprocating; it will not fly back. Cut the charging handle is is a uh, is plastic. Um, it sticks out plenty. Again, you can upgrade this if you wish. Um, also, so as I was saying, so when you're shooting, this disconnects, but they've got some kind of wizardry going on, right? So because when you pull this back, obviously. It's connected. If a round doesn't go in properly and it sits like this, you could use this as a forward assist also. So it's kind of some cool uh, cool engineering uh, from CZ's part. We do have the bolt release right here. And when I'm pushing this, you might notice in the trigger guard here, this is also moving. So this is another really cool feature. Um, this, this gun is just feature rich, I just love it. So you pull it back, push up and it locks it. And so if you've got your hand on, on, on the grip here and then you've got your hand up here, you can actually, it's gonna be hard for me to do this on camera. Let me switch it around, maybe you can see. So, um, so up, up is lock and then you can push down and that drops the, uh, drops it forward for you. So that's, that's really cool. I really like that. Okay. Uh, and then moving back again, we just have the ambi safety we already mentioned. Um, we already mentioned that you have your QD mount here and your sling attachment and it's a QD mount back here. Overall, I think it's actually a really amazing looking gun. Um, some of the issues, or just some of the issues, one of the issues that I run into, um, and it's not the gun's fault, uh, it's just my setup. I run a, a Razer a Gen 2 and I run a Geisley mount on here. The problem is when I sit this on here, and I've got to sit it pretty far forward because obviously we've got about four inch eye relief. Um, when I push the charging handle back, you guys can already tell that you know it rips on my knuckles right here. Um, so when I shot my video, I had to put it all the way back here so I could just shoot the video. So I need to change the mount uh, to one uh, that does not have that issue. But not the gun's fault, just something to be aware of if you're running uh, an optic with a mount like that. You just want to be careful because you might have to replace it. Okay, all right, well, let's go to the uh, the range part of the video. A heads up, I usually like to do a lot more footage in the range, but it was really busy today, um, and I wasn't able to get as much footage as I would like, but let's roll to it.
All right, so uh, you've watched the range footage. Um, one, I gotta tell you, this gun is unbelievably nice to shoot. It's probably the nicest firearm I have shot out of the box by far. It's very flat shooting, the trigger is really nice. It's ve it was very accurate, I was only going to 25 yards, so I mean, I'm not going far um, because that's obviously on the range. Only has a 25 yard indoor range. Um, I need to get out and go further, but from, from just the couple hundred rounds that I shot through it, I absolutely fell in love with it. it. It just, my first impressions is, it's a phenomenal firearm, okay? That's the bottom line, um, for me anyway. So, uh, one of the things I forgot to mention is just how light this rifle feels. It actually comes in at about seven point, I think it's three pounds. Uh, yeah, 7.3 pounds. And that's gonna be due to the aluminum upper and the poly, uh, polymer and uh, carbon fiber lower. It's, it does feel very light. Now, one, I, I let my son hold this rifle and he did point something out. Now, without an optic on this, or a full magazine, it did feel just a little bit front heavy, and that's just because of the heavy, um, heavy, uh, the heavy barrel, heavy profile barrel. Uh, once we put the optic on, it definitely seemed to balance it out, um, and it was just fine. Uh, I didn't even notice it personally, um, but when it, when he'd mentioned it, I, I kind of felt, and I was like, yeah, it does feel just just a little bit front heavy. Um, but other than that, yeah, I absolutely love this thing. So, uh, CZ has a five-year warranty on these. Um, if you ever have any issues, obviously hit them up. Um, one of the things is, you know, this is just came out only a couple of weeks ago. These are very, very hard to come by right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I bought mine off a gun broker, um, and I paid uh, just under nineteen hundred dollars to have it shipped. Um, I've seen people trying to sell them for over their MSRP uh, as well. So. Uh, right now, I don't have a link to this firearm. Um, when I do, I will put it in the description. So look down there if there's a link in there. Obviously, I found somewhere that sells them. But as of this video, I do not know where you can purchase them other than, say, maybe Gunbroker. But they have also been out of stock for the last week or two. Um, all right. Um, okay, that's it. I'm going to take it um, shooting this weekend for you guys also. I'm going to, I'm going to suppress it, see how it does. Um, so if you have any other questions, comments, please uh, put them below. I'm always happy to help if I can. If you are not following me on Twitter, please do so at Prepper Junkie. I post deals on guns, optics, ammo, and things like that. Any deals that I find. And I generally post every day. If you're not following and subscribing to me, please do also. It doesn't cost you guys a thing, but it really does help my channel out. And that is it. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Catch you next time.